Hi, I'm Pamela Cipriano. I am a doctor of prepared nurse practitioner coming to you from the practice of health and wellness. The reason for this video is to talk to you about the bullseye rash, which is a positive sign for Lyme disease. With a bullseye rash, there is no need to get tested. The testing will most likely come back a false negative anyway. The local testing is more than 40 years old and is not reliable. When you have the bullseye rash, it does not mean it's going to look like a perfect bullseye. It may look like cellulitis. It may look like a fungal rash. It may look like ringworm. You don't have to see the tick. You don't have to dig this tick out of you. Many times a tick will bite you and drop off. They don't always get embedded. So if you get the bullseye rash, you need to see your provider immediately to go on antibiotics for a minimum of four weeks. The reason for this is when a tick bites you within 24 hours, your, the bacteria uses your proteins to create a biofilm. The biofilm is going to contain persister cells and immature bacterial cells. In three weeks, the mature bacteria called spirochetes are gonna come out of this biofilm and start attacking the body. The immune system is going to help to fight this off. If you are not on the antibiotics during this period of time, you will end up with chronic Lyme disease. So the two dose doxycycline does not work. Those, that research was done more than 30 years ago and it is a very antiquated study and it was not properly done. The 10 days to two weeks of antibiotics does not work because you are not covering that three week cycle. To prevent chronic illness from a tick bite, you need to be on antibiotics for a minimum of four weeks. This is gonna help prevent you from ending up with chronic Lyme disease. The alternative to this, if you don't wanna go on antibiotics, is to go on astragalus, three grams every day for 30 days. And this is from Dr. Bruner's protocol. So if you have a provider who is unfamiliar with the bullseye rash, and how a bullseye rash can not always look exactly like a bullseye and gives you a hard time about going on an antibiotic, it's just because they don't really understand or know enough about Lyme disease and tick-borne diseases. Unfortunately, it has to start in your family for you to be actually be able to understand Lyme disease and that's what happened with me. It happened in my cousin and it happened in my son. And so I went away for a extensive amount of training to learn how to not only diagnose it properly, but to also treat it so we don't end up with chronic Lyme disease. However, God forbid you do end up with chronic Lyme disease, I do know how to treat that. I know how to treat that allopathically through Western medicine and also alternative medicine. So if you are one that doesn't like antibiotics, I can certainly help you with an all natural approach to get you back on your feet again. We're located in Thomaston, Connecticut, the practice of health and wellness. You can reach us at 860-880-2525, and it's thepracticeofhealthandwellness.com. Hope to see you soon. Bye.